The other day I was playing with Copilot Workspace, you know, that tool where you give the specification or an issue, creates a plan, and right after that, it basically goes straight to the implementation. And they noticed that if I go on the settings, there is an option called Activate Brainstorming. And what it basically does is that if you're inside a project, you start with the usual UI where you describe the task or you directly pick an issue from a repository and then all the process begins. But instead, if you go in the settings and you enable activate brainstorming, something happened and there's a new button here. Let me click it. This will basically open a brainstorming session where your peer is Copilot World Space who knows about your repository and then you can ask questions and start a conversation. For example, what is the purpose of this file, I can ask. And since it knows my code base, it basically said that this file has a login function and a logout function. And this was easy, right? But here I can also ask questions manually, for example, what login providers are supported? In this case, by knowing the code base, it will probably start generating an answer. And without having to search through the entire repository, it says that the login provider is GitHub. And this is evident by looking at this file. And if I click here, I see that, yep, Copilot was right. The supporter provider is indeed GitHub. Let's now try with a different project. For example, Tanstack Form. Here again, I can click brainstorm and it will suggest me some questions in a second. For example, that's interesting. What are the main features of this library? And here it will probably try to guess, well, this is a form library. So let's see what it has. It manages the form instance, tells me about field management. I can handle field state and metadata, validation and reactivity indeed. And it also tells me that I can get reactivity in React with form.useStore or in Angular with Inject too. And also does me a glimpse about how arrays are handled. This seems correct. Yes, it is. And yep, there are some methods which I can use to handle arrays in the form. But let's get a little bit deeper. And here, for example, I saw a question. Yeah, how does Tanstack form handle validation? Because, you know, I, let's say I just discovered this new form library. I want to see if the validation capabilities are exactly what I need. And that's the latest question to ask. In this case, let's see what the answer is. So there's a field level validation, that's correct. I can use this on change, on blur and on submit. And also there's form level validation, which again has on change, on blur and on submit. And also in continuous with our validation adapters. And basically those seems to be all functions that are in the repository. And this seems quite an interesting way of validating libraries. This is basically giving me the feeling of being able to chat or brainstorm with someone who knows the code base and well, it can give me overviews or advices on how to use that specific library.